G'day pals. Today we've got three goals. The first is to increase our luck to crazy levels. We're already starting with plus 50%, which is not huge, but we're using the assassin Nixie, and she has an ability that lets us gain 13% luck every three levels. I think you can see where we're going with this. Our second goal, once we have enough luck, is to increase our attack speed to ridiculous levels. But we need some certain items for that to happen. Right now we're at plus 0% and that's just not good enough. Once those two goals are done, we'll be ready for our final goal and that is to completely melt Dracula in under 10 seconds. Let's see how we go. Here's our first upgrade. I think this is very good for us, Wrathful Strike. Your attacks become stronger and have a chance to trigger an additional attack. Ooh, Stone of Collecting. Oh! Oh, Archers! No, I don't like that at all. Get out of my face. A few more shrines up here. I keep getting those gold shrines and that's the one I want the least. Oh, there's an elite archer. Oh, I hate you. You're like the boss of my enemies. Okay, we can increase our wrathful strike to get more damage. While I'm moving, I want to make sure I'm still defeating these skeletons to get those level ups too. Can't fall behind on my level ups. Oh, now we've got more. So that's very useful as well. We had to use a few rerolls, but I think we've got something good. I actually want both of these. I want soul stealers and I want execution. But I think here the smartest move is to take soul stealers. Every time we attack, we've got a chance to spawn some phantoms, which can curse our enemies and make them lose health. Having extra luck also increases the chance of these procs going off. So that's where I think this build can get really powerful. Oh yeah, look at him go. Spreading curses everywhere already. Oh, he came out of nowhere. You see how fast they are on the max difficulty? He does melt pretty quickly though. Oh, and time's giving us some good things. I think we should take Wisdom, an extra 18% experience. Getting that this early on is great, actually. I am a bit worried about our health situation, though. Our survivability is really low, but you know what the best way to counteract that is? Is to get insanely strong so that nothing lasts more than a few seconds. Oh, these little walls have appeared. I hate these guys because they always charge you. I don't hate them anywhere near as much as skeletons, though. That's for sure. Oh, we've got a plus 60% experience buff. All right, let's increase our experience up to 30% this time. It's pretty insane for this early on. Oh, what's this thing? Shrine of Spring. Oh no, I don't like any of these. I think what we can do maybe is the spell duration loss, but gain the life regen. That's not ideal, but we'll take it. I've never seen one of those shrines before. I don't like taking the negatives. A bit of life regen is pretty good though. Okay, extra luck there. Getting some useless gray items and a little bit of invincibility. Always get that invincibility when I don't need it. Wish it would show up when I've got a boss, you know? We found the black firewall, which we're locked in. We know what that means. It's slime time. And I'm actually a little bit nervous because we don't have any actual AOE abilities right now. We can do it this though. Actually, why don't we use an alteration dice here? Let's see if we can get something good. We got another Mort. We could increase our soul stealers again. Let's just do that. Spawn more curses around, you know? One thing we could really benefit from is increasing our attack speed. So let's try and work towards that as well. More soul stealers. That's what Mort wants to give us. That's what we'll take. All right, those slimes didn't even stand a chance, really. 9% pickups is good as well. I think that means there's a higher chance of enemies to drop health on death. Oh, this Naga guy. See these Nagas? They're like my absolute nemesis because they spawn the skeleton archers. So they need to get right out of here. Oh, okay. This could be pretty good too. Why don't we take lightning bolt? So whenever we're just walking around, we've got a chance to generate lightning bolts. And it's a master level too, that's pretty sweet. Actually, let's check in, how's our luck doing? Oh, it's already at plus 108%, that's great. Oh, I'm loving this lightning. Look at it, it's striking everybody. More luck, I'll take it all. Let's see how quickly these big guys melt now. Oh, not quickly enough. One of these big shrines again, the many handed ones. I wonder if we take spell projectiles, does that work for things like chain lightning? Or is it better for us to take attack speed? You know, I'm gonna take attack speed because I think with our procs, it will help with that. I'm kind of running away from everyone right now to get these shrines. Uh, gain 12% attack damage. I'll take it again. Oh, what's this? Oh my God, the back. Wait, I'm just trying to get this upgrade. Um, oh my God, he's gonna charge me as soon as we get out of here. Shrine of hunting. Let's take 13% chance to recharge our dashes on attacks. Oh, okay, we got out of there. I evaded that. How did I just evade that? Oh, this is perfect though. I'm gonna take serendipity here. So we get 13% extra luck. That'll help us, not with these bosses, but hopefully once we defeat the bosses. I'm just gonna be really careful here. I don't wanna get charged at all. Our defense is not great. Oh, these archers though can get right out of here. 
We're getting them really low, actually, really quickly. I'm a big fan of that. Oh, that just hit me. Okay, one down, and we got an upgrade from Mort. I think this is a good time to take this ability, Execution. And so every time we kill an enemy, we get a chance to spawn Experience Shard. That should mean that we get more level ups, you know? More level ups, more strong. And before we do anything else, let's kill this Baron's left hand, which he should be dead right about now. Perfect. Oh, do we take a Ravens? Let's take Ravens. Oh, and there's another chest up here. Hold on, let me get that chest. We'll do an alteration here. Oh, and we got time. Okay, let's upgrade our wisdom. I'm happy to do that. All right, very good. There's the first bosses down. So far, so good. And we've got a lot of upgrading left to do. Oh, oh, there's the elite archer. I see him. Oh, he's running away. See how quickly he runs? Ah, we got you now. We can stun lock you. This is just novice abilities, but let's take chain lightning. So every time we attack, we have a chance of spawning the chain lightning. That should really help our AOE damage. And these high difficulties, there's just so much more happening on screen. The enemies shoot more projectiles, and you really just take so much extra damage. Ow! Oh, the wraiths are here! Okay, don't like that. We can upgrade the level of our chain lightning to add it, so I'm going to do that for sure. Alright, these wraiths are melting pretty quick already. There's a lot of lightning on screen. <laughs> okay, I don't like these. Let's do an alteration. Oh, this could be perfect. Mayhem. When an enemy dies from cursed, you gain permanent damage. We've got so many curses at the moment, that's going to increase our attack a lot. It's probably one of the last things I want to take from Mort, to be honest, though. I don't want to go too curse heavy. Um, out of these, why don't we take Alteration Ritual? So whenever we gain a level, we get a random blessing. This lightning makes it so easy to wipe the whole screen. It just spreads everywhere. It lets you still farm XP while you're running around, trying to collect all of these shrines. Just a great use of time. Alright, oh, there's a Naga. Oh, there's quite a few of these Nagas, actually. Hmm. Let's upgrade our chain lightning. Just so we can get rid of these nagas even faster. <laughs> Alright, look at this damage now. This is already pretty insane. Oh, we can increase our chain lightning to expert. I'm definitely going to do that. Alright, where's our luck? Oh, our luck's 193%. That's awesome. Oh, there's nagas. Oh, they just did so much damage to me. Something just hit me a lot. There's so much lightning on the screen right now, I can't even see what's happening. Why are there so many naga guys? Okay, increase our lightning bolt. Extra 60% pickups is going to really help spawn some extra health for us. Oh, it's the blue slimes now. These guys always catch me by surprise. I don't know what it is. Let's see how well our chain lightning can do damage to them, though. I'll increase our luck. An extra 13% or so. Oh, get lightninged. All right, that barrier just spawned from our random chance to upgrade something. What is that red thing on my map? Ouch. More lightning bolt. And spawn stronger lightning while we're just running around the screen. Oh, there's so much lightning. I'm actually taking a lot of damage. Let's take the summoner. So every 60 seconds that pass, the damage of our upgrades gets increased permanently. Oh, melt. These banshees just get absolutely melted. All right, banshees. Oh, it's the elite one, though. Oh, it just disintegrated. Okay, wrathful strike. We'll upgrade that. We still want those extra attacks and extra attack damage as well. All right, the upgrades are really coming through right now. Improve our soul stealers. Oh, the necromancer. All right. I feel like we're strong enough to take him out pretty quick right now. Oh, yes. Look at this. Where did he go? Wait, we lost him. Aha. He gave himself away with those bullets. Oh, yeah. He melts. Get right out of here. Okay, more lightning bolt. Oh, the lightning is just so strong now. The upgrades are just coming so quick. Let's increase our execution up to expert level. So that means the experience shard drop jumps up by 5%. But that is also increased by our luck which is now at 250%. That's insane. We've got so much luck now. Surely we can find a legendary somewhere. Oh, I got stuck. Oh, this is it. This is the thing we need. Gem height. So whenever we take an experience shard, remember we're generating heaps of experience through our Mort abilities. We get movement, attack speed, and skills that are increased. So this gem high ability is, I think, going to be crazy. If we can get a big group of enemies together and collect a bunch of experience, nothing's going to stand a chance. Because already, look at this. Actually, I should have seen our attack speed. It was like 0% before, and it's already 84%. That is crazy. Hold on. Let's see what we can get it to. Why don't we use... Let's just increase the summoner up to expert level. This is crazy already. Look how fast I'm moving. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> Hold on. What's our attack speed now? 185%. And our level ups are coming in so quickly as well. All right. Let's do a reroll here. I don't want any of those. 
We could take force here, so that means we collect experience from a wider area. And if it goes through enemies, it does damage. Let's just take that. Oh, melt. Absolutely everything is melting right now. <laughs> this is so good. These big guys, not a problem. Disintegrated. They all sound like popping Coke cans. All right, let's do a chain lightning. I should probably increase our wrathful strike. I mean, that can proc extra attacks, which is going to proc all of our other things potentially as well. Oh my god, these archers. Get out of here. Yes, melt all of you. Oh, did you see? They all died then. All right, more lightning bolt. I'm very happy to take all the lightning bolts as well, actually. That means I don't have to do anything. I'm glad our lightning's taking out all of these archers because they're such a pain. Okay, yeah. Let's upgrade our wrathful strike here. I collect a bit of this health. We're getting a bit low, actually. We're blocked off again. Another black fiery wall. Oh, it's this gold guy. Wow, he melted instantly. <laughs> okay, upgrade our soul stealers. That means more curses. More chances for us to increase our damage. Wow, look at all these bonus attacks. When we proc those extra attacks, it's just crazy. All right. Oh, this lightning is just taking care of everything. Let's do even more chain lightning. A random ability was the chains. Oh man, chains is actually amazing when you've got a high attack speed. Oh, there's a few mythical items out there. Can I have those, please? Never mind, I'm just getting upgrades. You know what? I'm going to increase my luck even more. I'm not getting enough luck-based things. Where's my legendary? All right, well, we seem to have completely destroyed everything. I'm going to collect our items. Oh, these archers are shooting frost at us now. I do not like that. All right, more wrathful strike. Ouch. Okay, something touched me. I'm not invincible. Definitely not invincible. Things are definitely touching me. I'm going to increase my luck again. Plus 51%. What does that take us up to now? 345% luck. And I haven't seen a single legendary. Can you believe it? All right, there's so much experience on the ground around here. A magnet would be just fantastic right now. Bit of health never hurts, so. Oh my gosh. Okay, not good. Very not good. That's That archer just nearly completely destroyed me. All right, we're going okay, though. We got a bit of health back. Healing shrines, very helpful. Oh my god, things are absolutely melting, though. Look at all of this experience. Let's increase our spell durations. Why not? Let's increase our ravens one more time. Oh, we got a magnet there. That's huge. Dracula's here. All right, Dracula. How quickly do you want to melt? Oh, he's melting so quick. Oh, he dissolved in seconds. Wow, I've never seen Dracula die that quickly. Turns out if you stack a whole bunch of luck, you give yourself insane attack speed. You don't even need good unlocks. If you got any build suggestions, leave them in the comments below. If you like the content, please leave a like and think about subscribing. Love you. Okay, bye.